Hi, in this video I have prepared one multiply choice question for you and I recommend you to stop video here, read the question and answers and uh, take your time, choose your answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. And by the way, on this picture here, uh, two calico cats, so this uh, color pattern of patches of orange, black and white we call calico. So uh, I want to emphasize that uh, the question is about male calico cats because uh, female calico cats are normal phenotype for the uh, cats but uh, usually uh, males only can show or express two colors. This can be uh, with uh, orange and white or black and white or they can be of the uniform color. So uh, all three colors can be expressed only in females but sometimes very rarely uh, also males can have such a pattern. And why this happens? Before I will give you um, the correct answer his uh, explanation. So imagine when we have sex inheritance uh, that means that uh, one of the alleles that uh, influence uh, phenotype would be on the X chromosome so we can have X chromosome uh, with uh, allele for the black color and X chromosome with allele for the orange color and these two chromosome uh, can make uh, three different variants so variant one would be uh, two alleles for the black color second variant can be two alleles for the orange color and of course such cats would be with a uniform black color or uniform orange color or also they may have white color because uh, uh, white color is not sex linked uh, and we also call this gene uh, piebald gene and this is autosomal gene so uh, we have uh, 22 pairs of chromosomes that is autosomal and uh, 23rd pair of chromosomes that is uh, we call sex chromosome and this can be X chromosome and Y chromosome. Of course when we have two uh, XX chromosome that means female and when we have XY chromosome uh, variant that means male. And of course the third variant here would be XB and XO so such a uh, cat this would be female as you see and uh, such cat would express uh, two colors simultaneously but this is not going to be a mixture or intermediate color this is going to be a mixture of two colors but each um, color would be present as a patch of the color and uh, why this happens and here is explanation so imagine at the early stage of the embryo development we have just a few cells and in uh, female cats we would see, we would find two X chromosomes so this would uh, make a female and uh, when uh, embryo going to be about um, 100 or more cells uh, random process of uh, one of the X chromosome inactivation would start so each cell those would have two X chromosomes only one would be active and another one would be turned off and for example when we have uh, two X chromosome with uh, two alleles for the orange color uh, it doesn't affect the color of the cat because uh, if this one would be turned off the color of the uh, cell would be orange or color of the fur and uh, if this one would be turned off 
it still would be orange. But in the case when we have a cat that is heterozygous, and this is also uh, only can be a female cat, so in some cells, uh, B chromosome or chromosome with B allele would be turned off, and such uh, um, cell uh, would produce orange color fur. And also, due to uh, mitosis, such cell would divide and would give rise to many other cells where this B uh, allele would be turned off. But in some other mm, cells, a different allele would be turned off. For example, allele O, and such. Uh, I cannot use uh, black color here because I have black background, but imagine that this is uh, would be uh, orange color that would be turned off and uh, cell line uh, would arise from this uh, one uh, cell and uh, would mean that uh, all the uh, following cells would also have this particular allele or this particular uh, chromosome uh, turn it off. And this uh, we also call when one allele or one chromosome would be turned off, we call this as formation of the bar bodies and uh, such uh, chromosome would become very dense and small and uh, we would be able to see it with uh, light microscope. So this explains why uh, cats, female cats, have uh, patches of different colors. And this is due to this random process of uh, turning away the uh, maternal or paternal X chromosome. Because one of these chromosomes, uh, female cat would get from father and another one from the mother side, as long as uh, this variance also. Each uh, chromosome in each pair, uh, female cat uh, would get uh, one from the mother side, another one from the father side. And as for the male cats, uh, we would have X, Y. And uh, of course X goes from the mother side only, so, for example, if uh, mother would be uh, of the uniform black color, she can uh, give to this uh, uh, progeny only X chromosome with uh, B allele. So, the color of this uh, cat would be, and this is going to be male cat, so the color would be black. If this mother would give uh, any of her chromosome, the color of the male would be orange, because Y chromosome doesn't have any uh, allele that defines this color. But the mother who is going to be of this color, uh, or calico cat, and she can give to uh, male uh, progeny one of these X, uh, X chromosomes. One can be with B allele, and this uh, case uh, male cat would be black, and another chromosome can be with O allele, and a male cat would be orange. So how a uh, male cat can have three colors simultaneously? And this is due to only one possible variant when a uh, male cat would have uh, Kleinefelter's syndrome and this is when he would have two X chromosomes and one Y chromosome. This genetic disorder that leads to infertile cats so they usually uh, don't have uh, progeny and sometimes uh, such cats also can be uh, result of the fusion of uh, of the two embryos on the early stage. For example, imagine that uh, there are just few cells uh, of the 
uh, female embryo where we have XX chromosome in each uh, cell and also there would be a brother with XY chromosomes and at the early stage these two um, cell lines can merge and become uh, one chimeric organism. So in such a um, chimeric organism uh, two types of cell lines can be found uh, that can be XX and XY and we call such uh, cat uh, chimeric so of course in those cell lines where we can find uh, two X chromosomes one would be turned off and would form a bar body another would be turned on and of course if uh, these two X chromosomes uh, have two alleles B and O uh, uh, the uh, color of such cat can be uh, of the uh, pattern of the calica cat so it can be uh, black, orange and white and as I already told white color is controlled by a completely different allele on the autosomal chromosome so um, sometimes it can be present or sometimes not if it is not present uh, the color uh, of the cat would be tortoiseshell so only orange and black and uh, also I want to add that uh, such a male cat can be fertile it depends uh, which of the cell lines would make a germ line so uh, now you can choose the correct answer and uh, those answer a sex link inheritance is the correct answer but it doesn't explain uh, male calico cats and only answer B explains that due to uh, non-disjunction leading to the male calico cats having two X chromosome such uh, color pattern might happen in uh, male cats and I also want to add that uh, Klinefelter syndrome happens uh, only about one in three to five thousand uh, live births in cats so this is very very rare genetic disorder and uh, you can be sure that if you see such a color pattern in cats you can be sure that this is a female cat and if calico cat would be male you can uh, answer that uh, most likely genotype would be X B X O Y and this is all for today thank you for attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye